Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another Days Gone Horde series video where I focus on one very specific horde. And on this video, it's the McLeod Ridge Horde that gets my full attention. Right then, this horde is 150 strong. It resides in the northern area of the Crater Lake region. And this horde is not available to take on until you have taken on the Chumult Mission Horde in the main Days Gone game. Now, let's take a look at the areas in which you're going to find this particular horde. As always, I'll start with our daytime location. That's where it is located, right there. Not far away from that, you are talking about their, their feeding location, which is over there. And of course, they always have a water location as well, and that's where it is, right there. Now, an awful lot of ways to take out this horde, folks, including six easy kill locations. So, let's get to it. Right then, I always like to start with a conventional method, albeit I usually like to add a wee twist to whatever it is I do, because there is always some very nice ways of taking them out, even without resorting to easy kill areas. Now, these items that I'm going to be using now are not my favourite items, uh, remote bombs, but they do have their uses. I'm just basically going to take the time to lay out five of them over here, because I'm basically looking to entice the horde over to this area. Um, and basically, they should take out quite a few of them. But, first of all, I'm going to use the cover of this uh, this cliff face here. One attractor out and I'm getting ready with a Napalm Molotov. Want to do maximum damage straight away. Because this horde is 150 strong, you really want to be reducing their numbers quite quickly. Now, I know they're going to spot me fairly soon, so I've uh, I've got the grenades at the ready. I'm only going to use about two of them. I want to get one down right now. That's good. Another one down there as well. And here's where the horde manipulation comes. I'm just waiting for as many of them to get up there as possible. I'm going to head off the cliff face that way. I know that they are heading straight back down that uh, hill area there. And what this basically does is I will get quite a number of kills. And not only that, it gives me a tremendous amount of time for the remainder of the horde, which are now appearing. So at this point, it's just a case of picking them off. Do have the SMP9 at the ready here. Um, it's one of the quickest weapons to reload as well. But at this point, this horde is just about done. And there we go. That's a nice... Uh, easy way to start with that takes them out using a conventional method. On to the next one, folks. Right then, on to the first of six easy kill locations. This is the first, and this takes place during the daytime. Now, basically what I'm looking to do is to just drive up slowly to their cave entrance, fire off a few shots, and then I'm just going to have them follow me because there is a very specific rock area that I'm going to take them to. And this is a nice easy one. Just make sure if you're attempting this yourself that you do it quite slow. This rock area here, make sure you approach it from the right hand side there. If you try and do it from the middle or from the left, you will have problems. Uh, but not only that, if you approach it from the right hand side, you can get to that specific point at the very top there nice and easily. And from here, it's just a very easy affair indeed. Um, as always, because you're dealing with a horde that is over 100 in size, just make sure that you don't get any of the uh, freakers doing their little war Z thing where they manage to get up and uh, give you a slap because they manage to get up uh, on top of the, the piles of bodies. Um, but I've got most of them taken care of now, so this is not going to be an issue at all. Uh, in all fairness, because of the height of this uh, rock that I'm on, you very rarely get any bother whatsoever but uh, if you're really wanting to do the job very quickly you can always let off uh, a few napalm molotovs and you'll take out this sword even quicker than this and it is worth noting that uh, at this stage in the game you will have access to napalm molotovs 
And there we have it. That is the McLeod Ridge Horde taken care of in the first easy kill location. So the last thing I have to do is just basically get off this uh, rock area with a bike. And uh, yeah, it's not too much bother. So, Okay, job done. On to the next one. Right then, on to the second easy kill location, and this basically takes place at their night feeding area. Or at least it takes place very close to their night feeding area. I actually have to move them because the area that I want to take them to is uh, its certainly not up here. And uh, I want the numbers. Uh, basically, once I have them, I'm heading down this way and I'm going to go right down this hill area. Because this is where the magic happens. Just checking to make sure I've still got them all. Uh, from here, I can start to slow down. There is a very specific point here that I am looking to uh, climb this rock area. Right there. And look at this once you get up here. You now have the entire horde backtracking. And they know exactly where you are. So you don't have to worry about them coming over to your position. Uh, and uh, obviously, folks, <laughs> because of where I am here, I'm untouchable. The only thing you remotely have to worry about is basically crowd control. It is a large horde, so you always have the possibility that one or two might get over if uh, they start to get their World War Z style tactics on. But uh, you do have a lot of room to move around this area here because it is a nice uh, big uh, cliff edge area that you have to work with. And it, uh, it makes this uh, horde a lot of fun to take out doing it this way and especially if there's any stragglers going about as well you're gonna pick them off as well and get a whole load of extra free careers yep, I'm not sure exactly where uh, why they came from that direction but yeah they must be stragglers but one of these surely will be oh no there's still one or two to come so it's not a problem I will be patient I will eventually get this whole done and there we go that is a McLeod Ridge Horde taken out from easy kill location number two. Okay, on to easy kill location number three. Now this takes place at night and at their watering area. The whole idea of this one is I basically just want to do a drive by, take a few shots at them. I basically want the entire horde heading away from this location because I am going to head back. Uh, but I do want the vast majority of their numbers nowhere near for when I do go back because I do need to get onto a, a specific rock. And uh, once I manage to get that done, this uh, hold is going to be an easy job indeed. And this is the way I like to do this. Now I've got pretty much most of the numbers, so I'm going to head back sharpish over this way. Once I get over here, I'm looking to use the bike to get onto this area right here. Now, this is very important. Once you get off the bike, get over to this area right here. This is where you want to be ideally congregating this hold. If you are over on the other side of the rock, um, more often than not, one or two of the flickers will actually get to your position. But from here, you generally don't tend to get too much problems at all. And it's nice that there's an area that uh, they can drop down to as well. That always helps your uh, your case here. Because <laughs> as soon as they drop down there, they are no threat. They will eventually climb back up and whatnot. But uh, everything about this just gives you more time. And uh, it is a nice easy job once you're up here. Uh, you as well notice I've not even turned around to look for any of the freakers that are actually behind me. I'm not worried about that at all because the majority of the numbers will basically be over uh, at the area that I'm at. And yeah, I've turned around there, there was only three of them, but uh, this now is just about a done deal. Yeah, there's about four of them left. And there we go, folks. Job done. Okay, on to the next one. Right then, on to kill location number four. And this also takes place at night and at their water area. And this method, folks, is a little bit on the crazy side, but it is uh, 
definitely one worth uh, attempting. Basically, I'm looking to head up to the hold. I'm not stopping though, I'm going very quickly because uh, I'm not interested in them chasing me at all. In fact, I want them staying there for a very good reason and you're about to find out. I'm basically heading up this way so now I have the height advantage and I'm looking to head past these trees here on the left and after that particular one there, yep, in between these two rock areas, I'm looking to drop this bike down because it is quite a long drop. If you try falling off this without the bike, you will die. And amazingly, I managed to pull this off for once without taking that much damage on the bike. Normally when you do that, that bike is smoking. But uh, anyways, now that I've got that done, this is the route that I'm looking to take in order to get into the perfect position to take out this world. Just follow... Uh, the route exactly the way that I'm doing here folks if you want to try it yourself and this is uh, it's a fantastic spot once you basically get down here now there is one ledge that I can go down to get to the perfect uh, position and it's right here because from here as well you are perfectly positioned above the hold so you can drop down all manners of uh, resources on them if you wish you can take them out with gunplay but uh, Given that this uh, holds 150 strong, I'm just going to go for it with a, with a few items. And because you're so high up, you're at no risk at all of uh, being blown off this particular position by a grenade or pipe bomb. It's as safe as it gets. The hardest part of this particular um, kill method is getting to this uh, point here. And as you can see, it's now just... Uh, a nice easy cleanup job. There's a few of them left, but uh, yeah, it's also made a bit easier uh, with myself here because I do have survival vision. But this shouldn't take too long now. Yeah, just two more to go, and that's it. Job done. Now, <laughs> worth noting, in order to get the bike back, Basically, just make sure that uh, when you're coming off this rock area, make sure to do a dive roll. That will minimise damage, and I always like to go off to the right here. And as you can see, when doing it this way, you don't take any damage at all. So from here, I want to activate the map, put the cursor onto the bike. It'll ask, do I want to recover the bike? Yes, I most certainly do. And then it is just a run up to the very top in order to retrieve it. So that's it. Job done, on to the next. Right then, on to easy kill location number five, and this takes place at their daytime location. Now, this method, folks, makes very clever use of the surroundings. Because basically, I'm not even using the bike for once, uh, I'm just looking to climb this part of this rock in order to get into position, because I want to be on this particular one here, a little bit further up. Yep, there we go. Now, this one does um, basically involve you taking out the horde quite quickly in order for it to work. I'm basically looking to place an attractor. The great thing about this location is you should get at least two grenades away without the horde being aware of exactly where you are because you're, you're quite well hidden. So that's the first one away. I normally get a second away, sometimes a third as well, before they do realise where you are. I'm throwing the third just for the hell of it, but make sure that you're ready to go hard at them as soon as they come towards your position. Um, because as long as you take care of all the ones that are running at you um, right at the front, you'll get no problems at all. Um, they don't have a chance to climb to get anyone in your position. And look at this. How good is this? <laughs> this order is just about done. And there we go. That's a very nice way to take out uh, the McLeod Ridge Ward for sure. Right then, on to easy kill location number six. Again, this takes place during the daytime. Uh, and basically, I don't expect too many people to be trying this one out. This is probably one of the toughest, and it's mainly because the setup for it is not very easy. 
It involves a bit of rock climbing and not only that, but you've got to be quite quiet and quite slow about what you're doing. Because uh, if you uh, do start revving the bike uh, too much and whatnot here, you'll get the horde to come into your position quite quickly. And as you can see, it's uh, it, it really is a tough one. There's not uh, a great deal of this rock section that you can actually climb on. Uh, but if you take that line and from here, head down to this location. I'm going very slowly. Yep, that's me. I'm all set. Now, can't stress this enough. This is another uh, kill location that you really do have to take out uh, a large uh, chunk of the numbers quickly. So, like easy kill location five, I'm basically looking to get them out with an attractor. I'm going with the first grenade. That will kill 30 of them instantly. Going for that second one very quickly afterwards. While I'm waiting for that grenade to go off, I am hitting them hard. It is a fantastic line of sight that you have when they're heading towards you. And, uh, yeah, I'm having to reload. And, holy fuck, that's a screamer. Okay, I'm going to get a few extra uh, freaker kills here. But, uh, anyhow, as you can see, now I don't have that much in the way of the numbers. I really did take out a good chunk of them. And there we go, if you do it like that, <laughs> fantastic okay job done just two more runs to show so let's get on to the next one right then as is customary I always like to include a stealth option in my horde series videos and uh, this one for this horde is going to take place very close to their daytime location so I'm just looking to entice them out of their cave and uh, just take care of them quite easily and from this specific location it will be this one is fantastic I know you do have the top of the cliff area up there but it is not always 100% successful they do sometimes spot you and do sometimes come running here you do not get that problem so I've started off with a uh, flashbang now I'm going with uh, an attractor and the beauty of this bit is fantastic line of sight so you can see exactly where you're throwing and I'm going with an napalm molotov just to uh, reduce our numbers quite quickly and then uh, quickly following that up with a grenade this will take care of a good deal of the numbers and I'm going to follow on with more of these grenades because it's the it's the usual story every time you throw one and it goes off the horde get attracted to the sound of the blast and they all move in so you can potentially take out quite a few now at this point, I know the numbers are heavily depleted, so it's time for an attractor bomb. And this should take out the lot. And there we go. As easy as that, that really is one of the best stealth areas you will get in this entire game. And for a horde that size, yeah, fantastic. Right then, on to the last one, folks, and this is just a bit of fun. I'm going to show a very quick method for taking out the McLeod Ridge Horde. And uh, again, it takes place during the daytime. I'm just looking to hit them hard from when they're in their cave and uh, just make sure that I try and get the job done quite quickly. So, first grenade's off. Yep, I know I have that other uh, freaker there, but uh, hasn't deterred me too much. There we go. Now I'm resorting to proximity uh, bombs. I ideally want about three. This should take out most of them. And there we go. Whatever's left shouldn't be too much. And there we go. Job done. And that is the McLeod Ridge Horde well and truly taken care of, folks. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care.